this camp was established uh, apparently in 1983. We have in excess of 15,000 refugees. UNHCR comes in as a UN agent mandated by the UN General Assembly to provide protection to refugees, apparently complementing government efforts. You recall that refugees were using firewood and within the population, especially those who are coming from the Great Lakes region, they are used to charcoal. So they have been cutting down trees, contributing to deforestation, contributing to environmental degradation within the community, within the refugee camp and as well as the host community. Here we have uh, this installation of five digesters at the Piggery. Uh, the Piggery is a communal project, a voluntary project by the refugees themselves. They essentially had a fecal matter problem. The pigs generating a lot of fecal matter and then what do we do with it? And the idea was to use um, a new technology, biogas technology, that would also help UNHCR to reduce its carbon footprint. If they take waste, pig waste, and put it into the you know, biogas, so they generate enough biogas that is taken into the community cooking area. If you see in short term, it's going to reduce, of course, the impact of the refugees on the, on the environment. We don't see people running left and right, going for charcoal, going to buy, take their money to buy firewood. No. Easy. This money can be used to buy food, to buy clothes huh, for children. We are very happy to see this uh, new project, biogas project. Our system is, is now good, uh, installed. And then also we are taking fertilizer from uh, the system and using it for uh, gardens. We believe this project will then add value to the uh, self-reliance and life in its projects that we are implementing in the camp. I take this opportunity to thank so much the biogas project and our UNSCR headquarters in Geneva who come up with this uh, very, very smart project. <laughs>